Hey, how's it going, everybody? Simon E, TCG here, back again with another deck profile on the deck I'm currently using this week. Um, definitely uh, one of my favorite decks outside of the uh, White Beard, of course, which is Smoker for the Marines or Navy, whichever one you want to use. Um, definitely going with the Smoker leader. Um, we do have Zephyr, um, Sakazuki, or Akainu. And um, Garp, but of course Smoker is a better one of the, of the four, definitely, in my opinion. Um, we don't have the ult in our heart, unfortunately, so I'm kind of lacking that. But it's all good, I'll get one when I can, just haven't been able to acquire one yet. But without further ado, let's get into the deck profile, <clears throat> and then I can tell you all about the matchups and all that. Uh, of course, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below. Let me know what y'all th think about the changes need to be made to it. And uh, all my choices, of course. Uh, four uh, to zero, definitely good. 2K, 2K counter and then able to one play minus two costs. Definitely came in handy at times when, when I needed to use it instead of using it for the counter. Uh, four, Rosanade, just to block. Definitely need him. Uh, four, Garp. Another 2k counter and then able to, you know, destroy zero cost characters if need be. Even against, like, uh, I play him down on even against Zoro matchups because if they're all on level one, you can easily make them zero and start popping them, attack somebody, pop to somebody else, and, you know, clear a board quicker that way. Uh, just two Hubmempo. I think this is from the starter deck, but uh, minus three on uh, play. So, really good. Helped out a lot. Probably the best card in here, the. You know, the guy who saved the Paramount War, <laughs> who who stopped the battle, stopped the war. Kobe, definitely a good card. I'd like to see him every time, every game. Just being able to just KO a, a three cost or less. And since you're able to reduce cost easily, he always comes in handy. Hefty price to discard a card, but usually it's worth it. Uh, we got three of the three drop smoker. Came in KO by effect, so came in good handy. Uh, just having him on the board. And, you know, he won't die by effects of battles going away. But he becomes 6k on attack if you have the opponent has a zero cost up. Came in good handy if I made him 6 or even 7 just to hit. And if I want to protect him, I probably would. Maybe not. Then we got 4 Tsushigi. Another 2k counter. And just a uh, bunch like Bonnie. You can just rest it and give your opponent minus 2 on a cost. So pretty much they'll be attacking her. After that's done, but really good. Next is Kuzon, very important card. Definitely like to see him opening hand or eventually because you want to play him as soon as possible. Just draw a card, get him out your hand, and then he can minus four on attack. So it's really good. He's really helpful. As well as my favorite Admiral for Kizaru. Um, definitely have a good blocker. Becomes 6k in your opponent's turn, and he can't be killed by effects. And it doesn't counter, so it's really good. Great card all to all around, and just, 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 just great. <laughs> I, I might have to get these in the uh, alternate art if need be. Uh, two Hinos, she, she's all right. Didn't really hurt too bad against Zoro. Pretty good, maybe green if they don't rest it. But all in all, good blocker, able to make some else to not attack. So not too bad. Uh, two with a five drop smoker. Not liking him too much. Um, I might just come to one, if that. But he, he's all right. Yeah, double attack is okay, but in, in this deck, it's not really as essential. But because you don't have that many ways to sometimes get a successful hit in. But um, I I would probably cut to one, just so it's, it's they don't have a counter. So it's kind of you know unless you discard it with Kobe or Sakazuki here, which is at four. That's the only way it'll work. But Sakazuki, we have four. Yeah, definitely need four of this because he destroys a five cost or less character. And he's your, he's like one of your strongest ones. So definitely good to have him. And then three to ten drop Kuzon because you need a boss card. And then while he's face up, he minuses five on, you know, during your turn. All your opponent's characters get minus five level, you know, cost. So and then on play, after that's done, he can just destroy a zero cost. So really good. Definitely gonna have four or three of that. Maybe four. I mean, I kind of haven't seen them every game, but the fact that these 10 costs is like Kaido. You bring it down, you don't honestly need anything else after that. Unless they out it, but by then you'll have at least one or two copies in hand. So I think three is fine. 
Um, I have seen four, but uh, I think once we get more cards and support, then maybe four would be the number. But right now, I don't want to be inconsistent or have too many non-counter hands. So three is fine with me. Then we got four shockwave or palm thrust. I think that's what it's called, like something. But uh, shockwave, just add uh, two, uh, two costs, 4K counter, and then you can KO at active four or less. So it gets rid of uh, many boards you're up against, uh, many bodies a bit. And then two meteor uh, volcano. I actually might put this at three because there were times where I, I wish I had ways to destroy a card and that's just not it. So I might have to put this up at a, a higher number just to, just to see it more. Yeah, I only ran two. It usually came from life. So it's like I rarely even use it for the effect. But it's not bad. Might definitely up it to three. Because even, even if it's in life, that's still good. Draw two, trash one. Still a good, good thing to have. But all in all, that was really it. Um, that, that actually did pretty well. I um, definitely will be playing this more often. Of course, I got white beard. Of course, I'm still going to stick with two. But we'll definitely have more options uh, available for us. But definitely uh, can't wait until this tops as well or wins the tournament. So I'm definitely rooting for these two decks. Uh, white beard and smoker to win some events. So definitely rooting for that. I'm rooting for y'all if y'all are able to make it happen. Or if I can make it happen, you know, even better. <laughs> but that is it for the deck profile. Y'all please comment down below. Let me know what changes y'all make to it. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel, of course. We'll have more deck profiles weekly. And um, whenever we get, you know, the, the testing done and locals out the way and to prove it and all that. So definitely keep an eye out. Click the notification bell. And hope y'all like the video. And that's it. Take y'all. Take care. Thank y'all for watching. Peace out.